Good evening, or good morning, depending on when you watch this. This is Jonathan here at the National Weather Service in Norman. First off, I want to apologize that I'm not Ryan. I know many of you have grown quite fond of him this week, and because he's done such a wonderful job briefing all of you, we decided to give him the weekend off. So if you'll hang with me, I'll do my best to fill his shoes. Real quick, let's go ahead and take a look at what you can continue to expect through the evening. If any of you have been outside recently, some of you have probably encountered some light freezing rain and freezing drizzle. Unfortunately, this patchy activity is expected to continue through sunset and into the late evening hours. Along with giving a distinctive crunch to the snow as you walk, it will also it's also going to cause roads to continue to deteriorate through the evening. We'd advise that if you don't have to travel this evening, it's best to stay home, cozy up with a blanket, and a good book, and maybe grab a mug of mulled cider. It's a favorite of ours here at the office. Overnight conditions are not expected to get much better. Although the upper low that brought us our winter weather will continue to make its way east, we'll have enough moisture and lift across the region to continue the chance for freezing drizzle and light freezing rain through sunrise Sunday across most of the region. This coupled with overnight temperatures dropping into the low to mid-20s, road conditions will worsen overnight. Any icing will be light, so we're not anticipating any impacts due to ice accumulations. Please be careful overnight and Sunday morning if you have to drive. We'd advise you not to travel if you don't really have to. All right, moving on to post-sunrise Sunday morning. Freezing drizzle and light freezing rain will remain possible across most of the region. However, on the bright side, temperatures will slowly begin to rise late Sunday morning across Texoma and northern Texas, leading to a transition to drizzle and rain and not of the frozen variety. This trend will continue through the afternoon and as temperatures reach in the mid-30s to lower 40s and rain chances slowly diminish. Of course, keep those winter coats and gloves handy. Sunday afternoon will only allow us a brief reprieve from the precipitation of the frozen type. Temperatures will dip back below freezing overnight Sunday into early Monday, and light precipitation chances will persist with a return to the possibility of light freezing rain and drizzle across most of the region. Now, direct impacts from this precipitation will be minor, but given all the water on area roadways, refreezing will continue to cause slick and hazardous conditions. As Ryan would say, if your work week starts on Monday, be sure to get up early and check the weather and road conditions before you venture out. With winter weather driving in mind, especially for tonight and Sunday morning, be sure to follow these winter driving tips. If you have to venture out, be sure to leave early and slow down. Being late is much better than risking your own life and those of the drivers around you. Remember, four-wheel drive does not make you invincible. All cars have four-wheel brakes, and believe me, from my own experience, you don't want an unexpected physics lesson. Be sure to clean all the snow from your car. If Smokey the Bear has a polar bear cousin, I'm sure he'd say, only you can prevent blowing chunks of snow on the highway. Or maybe not, but I guess what I'm trying to say is just be safe out there. As always, and as Ryan would say, thanks for joining me on this meteorological adventure. In all seriousness, please be safe out there. If you don't need to drive tonight through Sunday morning, just relax at home. Besides, who likes getting out in the cold and driving on slick roads anyway? I sure don't. You can find a multitude of neat information on our Facebook and Twitter pages. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, and you can always find the most up-to-date forecasts and hazardous weather information on our webpage at weather.gov forward slash Norman. Have a great night, everyone, and stay safe out there.